Hi, I'm Jim Juback, and welcome to this week's Trend of the Week video. Trend of the Week video this week is voter suppression in China. Okay, uh, if you looked at who was invited and who was not to the most recent meeting of the National People's Congress, this is the big political rubber stamp event in China once a year, uh, it was conspicuous by their absence were the Ma's, no, no Tony and no Pony, that's no Alibaba and no TC, uh, Tencent. Uh, basically, uh, the entrepreneurs who have built these big internet-focused companies were not invited. Uh, it makes it very clear that even if COVID is over, that we're not going back to uh, Deng's China, this is Xi Jinping's China, where we're going to clamp down and have as much Communist uh, Party control as possible and have as few uh, potentially competing uh, power centers as you're just going to make sure they don't happen, which means entrepreneurs have a much smaller role in the new Chinese economy going forward. Uh, and a lot of the new spending and technology innovation is supposed to come out of the state-controlled businesses. It didn't before. It's going to be interesting to see where whether this puts some sort of crimp in the Chinese efforts to develop their own uh, chip technologies uh, at the cutting edge. We'll see what happens. Clearly, they're going to throw a lot of money at it. Whether they get good results or not, um, don't know. But what you're interested in at the moment is probably uh, whether you should invest in China. Okay, here's a chart for, this is the China index, China ETF that I follow, which is the iShares China large cap ETF known as FXI. It deals with the big companies in China. And what you notice is that we had uh, a pretty good run up on anticipation that the, the National People's Congress was going to announce um, new stimulus for the economy uh, a new target for the economy, and they did. It was a little disappointing, which is why then you see this coming back down in the last few days. Basically, people were hoping for more stimulus than they got. They got a commitment to uh, GDP growth of around 5%, which is actually the quote, around 5%, and they were hoping for more than 5%. And they also didn't get a lot of, of uh, infrastructure stimulus, which, is, which would be good for real estate developers and banks and large state-owned corporations. They instead got a um, emphasis on consumer spending. And that leads me to my first stock. Uh, so there are two that I like here. Uh, one is, despite the fact that Pony Ma was not at the conference, um, Tencent Holdings has uh, dominant positions in uh, gaming, in chat, in messaging, uh, all of things that that it's interesting that I think it looks like uh, China, of course, will not uh, adopt any of the chatbot technology coming out of America. They're going to develop their own. It looks like uh, Tencent is going to be one of the companies uh, that is being flagged to lead this effort to develop a Chinese chatbot. Uh, anyway, so you see the stock went up going into the, the meeting, uh, came down. I think we're going back up again. Uh, I own this in my long-term portfolio. It's the only China stock that, I, that uh, I would look at for the long term because a lot of their business comes out from outside China. They are the dominant game, game producer, not just in China, but in the world. So that's why I'm interested in them. The other stock, and this is more short-term trading play, uh, is JD.com. Uh, JD.com is a big um, internet marketplace and logistics company. I think they're well suited to getting uh, a bounce from the emphasis on consumer spending. You see that they've been really, really down. So I like this price level because uh, you see it goes back to, you know, November, November peak. Uh, you might, might be able to get it a little bit lower at 37 instead of 47. But I think it's a pretty good price to enter. Uh, and I'm going to be adding it to um, my Jubac Picks portfolio on both Jubac Picks and uh, JubacAM.com. Okay, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's, as they say, free. Uh, you get notification then when we do our next video, and we do about three a week, but not always on the same day. Um, and if you want more of my stuff, you can go to my free site. That's jubeckpicks.com, and that's got three portfolios, including the portfolio where I will be putting on uh, jd.com. Uh, or you can go to my paid site, 
gbackam.com, which has got six portfolios, including, again, that portfolio with jd.com, um, but also some ETFs, uh, including FXI, uh, and some options plays. So a lot, our larger universe. So thanks for watching. you find links to all that down below.